So I want to take you a little bit into uh, how to look at a course within you certify. Um, and I should mention, I'm not paid by you certify at all. So this is just uh, from the different ones that I've looked at, I've settled on uh, using you certify for some of my courses. Um, so you certify uh, their courses start with a sample test to help you understand where you're at. It's a baseline. Uh, that, that way, as you go through the course, you can see the improvements that you make. Um, in a course, I know students have a hard time with that. <laughs> I don't know the content yet. How are you get, Why are you testing me? Um, anyway, um, CompTIA Security Plus uh, has different exam objectives. So uh, there's also different versions of the course. So if I look here, this is you certify Security Plus page. Scroll down at the bottom. Uh, you can see uh, IT security expert. I don't think that I think that's an oldish one. I don't know. Uh, there's this Pearson one, but this is for the old exam. There's two for the newer exam. Um, I've looked at both of these. Um, basically, they're very similar, except for one is set for like 14 weeks and the other is set for 18. Uh, well, 14 modules and 18 modules. Um, not necessarily a module per week. Some modules are more heavy than others, um, but that's kind of what I look at uh, for, for the course. Um, but yeah, around 14. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how I design a course uh, when I'm bringing in an ebook like this, uh, depending on how closely it aligns to the course objectives. Um, so if it's sufficiently aligned with the course objectives, the book can be a large part of the course uh, in, a, in a higher education institution. Um, I don't like to lecture much. Uh, I'll lecture with what uh, question. I'll ask what questions. We'll go from there and try and help students better understand what they've read and things like that. But I like to play and show them more up in front of the class. So uh, each of the, each of these two books uh, will cover the new version of, of Security Plus, um, and they'll have labs. So I'll take certain labs out. Uh, there, there should be very few cybersecurity courses where you don't actually set up like a, Lin, a Linux or Windows firewall or both in the course. Um, so obviously there's probably going to be a lab there where you're setting up a OS-based firewall. I would do that in class as well in, a, in an actual environment. I, I prefer AWS, Amazon Web Services. Um, Per, set up uh, a system in the AWS and go through similar steps as in the lab so they can see it in the real world, not just in the lab setting. Now, some are really easy to do that. Others are harder, especially when they have multiple uh, systems. So pick and choose which ones you could do in class. Uh, on top of that, you do need to have some type of a way to uh, see where students are at. Um, the, the, these courses do have chapter uh, quizzes and a final. Um, one of the problems is the students can actually go through and practice those questions if they know how to do it. I haven't found a way to lock that down well. Uh, and then there's the question of should you. Um, so uh, I, I like to see where the student is at, at and not just have them memorize the, the question bank. Um, but uh, there's a decent number in the question bank. So um, you might use those for assessments. You might not create your own assessments, uh, uh, whatever. So, um, but yeah, discussion, class discussion about uh, the learning in the, in the book, uh, going through the labs in, a, in, a, in their own environment uh, that's, yeah, you can call AWS a lab, but it's actually cloud. Uh, uh, so it is their own uh, basically data center that they can control. So, and then, uh, the, the book has plenty of things. Now, I will mention to uh, for the instructors, uh, the main the main gripe I have with you certify is they don't integrate correctly uh, with Canvas. They do uh, the grades will go back and forth. I do have some problems with having to kick it every once in a while, um, but it's the course setup that it's kind of lame. So I'm gonna keep bugging them about that and see if we can get them to make it better. Anyway. You have a good one. See you in the next video.